This is such an important project for the gardens in so many ways. It's not just about preserving the heritage of the Royal Botanic Garden Edinburgh, it's also about engaging with people, engaging with groups, engaging with communities, and that's what the cottage will be used for. This project means a great deal to me. Um, first of all, to be part of the history of this building and its story is fantastic and a unique and significant opportunity. The key milestones for the project uh, are many, um, but it started off with uh, raising all the funding required to complete the construction of the project. After that was gaining planning permission, which is key. We can't put a spade in the ground really until that's all signed off. For me, it's seeing the historic heart of the cottage being built, the stone construction itself. Um, after that, really, we're looking at the completion of the project and seeing those user groups get in there and start to use it and deliver the benefits which we really hope to see from this building. Do you know what? I'm really looking forward to seeing the end result. I think it's going to be somewhere that is going to be a, a really beautiful building, actually. It's one of the things that we focus a lot on the history of the building. We're incredibly excited at how it's going to be used, but it's so easy to look over that this is also a really important building architecturally, and it's going to be a beautiful asset for the garden. And I'm really looking forward to being able to see it in the landscape of the Royal Botanic Garden Edinburgh, surrounded by the fantastic plants, and being able to see it in the context of one of the world's greatest gardens. Projects like this don't come along very often, so it's nice to get an opportunity to be involved in something as unique as this. There's a genuine enthusiasm that's really apparent here from every member of the project team, uh, and that makes a huge difference. Sometimes in these projects you find that um, techniques are replicated, so we're trying to, to achieve finishes using modern techniques and, and modern materials. But in this case, there's always been a strong emphasis from the outset to, to use the materials that were recovered from the original structure um, and to use traditional techniques. And also there's a desire to share, to share that knowledge with the local trades, apprentices and even the public. So there's quite a lot of effort being put into creating demonstrations and showing people what we're, what we're doing here. It's been a hard working little building all its life, <laughs> hasn't it? Really? It didn't get much of a break, did it, really? <laughs> no. Just on the pallets for two or three years. <laughs> Don't you think it's really great that it's now back home where, where it should be? Absolutely. It, it's, it's being rebuilt in the only possible place it would be appropriate for it to be rebuilt, both in terms of its function and also in terms of its look, really. Yeah. Yeah. We are really looking forward to seeing the end result. Uh, I've watched it day by day, week by week, seen how it's grown, stone by stone, seen the extraordinary amount of enthusiasm and expertise that's gone into, into rebuilding uh, the structures. And so, yes, come September, I'm looking forward to seeing the finished thing.